Now, let's move on to all those individual woodwind and brass blends. The highest register is provided by a flute and piccolo playing in octaves. You just heard both the standard legato patch and the power legato. We made sure to match all the articulations as best as possible between all the sections. The overblown articulations are the woodwind counterpart of the martella sets of the strings. We also have the staccatissimo, rips, upbeats and crescendo styles here. And by the way, you can think of those short crescendos very much like drum flams. The flute, oboe, and B-flat clarinet provide the second woodwind-only blend. This is a very common color in orchestral music. It's very nicely balanced. The oboe provides the edge and shine, the clarinet has the warmth and body, and the flute softens and rounds off the whole sound. Quite different and also way more uncommon is the next one, bass oboe and basset horn. Those two instruments make up a lovely quirky color in the tenor register.
The next one is a blend of three brass instruments, horn, Wagner tube, and tenor trombone. To get a very aggressive trumpet color, orchestral tools decided to record two trumpets, one playing open and one playing with a straight mute. So you get the majestic and big sound from the open trumpet together with some additional character and edge from the muted one. Now, let's move on to the first mixed combination, flute, English horn, and muted trumpet. We heard that one before, so it's about time to find out some more details. The bassoon and horn work wonderfully together, especially as a melodic section in the mid-range.
The next one is again more on the edgy and quirky side, bass clarinet and muted bass trombone. It's wonderful to make bass lines cut through the mix or add accents and flourishes in the lower register. Listen how nicely the rich overtones of both instruments blend together. The last two blends are true bass voices. First, we have the bass clarinet, bass saxophone, and some basso. The latter plays one octave below the others and adds some grit and bite to the sound when the woodwinds become a bit tame in their higher register. We already heard the contrabassoon, euphonium, and contrabass tuba before. This one is definitely the most powerful blend we have in Metropolis Arc 4 for the low register.
Now let's move on to the individual choirs. We not only have legato and sustains here, but staccato and marcato shouts with a wide dynamic range. They become deliberately more out of tune the louder you play them. We also recorded some octave rips and short crescendos with them. Now the men choir. We already listened to the first two percussion ensembles of this collection, so let me take you through the other ones. There's an ensemble of three kick drums, and some various auxiliary percussion ensembles. They all have the same articulations and mapping, so they can be quite powerful in addition to the orchestral sections.
So, this is Metropolis Arc 4. It is again a huge collection and comprehensive tool set for highly energetic music. It works in many contexts, be it epic music, underscore, trailer, or any other kind of contemporary style. The wide set of articulations and the flexible recording setup allow almost indefinite possibilities. Thanks for watching the screencast. I'll see you next time. You're still here, aren't you? I have another one for you. This may not be a kind of music that comes to your mind in the first place when you think about the Metropolis Arc series, but I just want to show you how far you can go with those instruments. This is a quite quirky and uplifting little excerpt, played just with the close mics of each instrument and also with reduced release tail to get an even drier sound. Mm -hmm.